We are making new dice for our new game. Hey folks, Matt Colville here. At this point, you know what Draw Steel is. It's MCDM's new original fantasy RPG built from the ground up to be fun. <laughs> fun to play, fun to run. We are still working on it. It is still in development, but we just dropped the most recent draft of the core rules, including the first level of five classes to our backers on Backerkit a few weeks ago. This caused an enormous surge of activity in our Discord. Speaking only for myself, uh, but also, yeah, the, the rest of the MCDM team, it has been enormously rewarding watching people read the new packet, show up with tons of questions. They report in on their experiences playing the game at the table. They're still doing this like on a daily basis. New people are showing up saying, I ran the game. And they talk about how much fun they had. People have made and are making a ton of new content for the game, new kits, new classes, whole adventures. It's I mean, it is going as well as we could have hoped. Now, as you probably know, this is not a D20 game. In fact, as far as I know, and I certainly have not played every game, only D&D &D and its clones uh, and forks use a D20 to resolve attacks. Lots of games use pools of D6s or D10s or percentile dice or 3D6. That was pretty popular in the 80s, as I recall. Actually, the Modifius folks use 2d20, and that has nothing to do with any d20 fantasy game. So I know one. I know one game that uses d20s that isn't a clone or a fork of D&D. Our game uses 2d10. You roll them, you add them together, and you add your stat mod, usually plus two. They are almost the only dice you use for this game. Sometimes you need to roll some d6s, and sometimes you roll a d3, which is just a, a d6 divided by two. Or I suppose you could use a d12 divided by four. Well, you already have D6s and D10s. You do not need special dice to play this game. I need to say that again because it's important. You do not need any special dice to play this game. You can play it with the dice you already got. But now that our patrons and our backers are all playing the game, we thought it would be fun to make some cool dice just for Draw Steel or really anyone who wants some cool, unique D10s. The thing is, Everybody already has D10s. I've got a ton of them, but not everybody loves the way they roll. And lots of people miss the D20. And as it turns out, there is a classic old school die, in some senses, the oldest school die, that is sort of unique. It is a 20-sided, normal D20, 20-sided die. But instead of being numbered 1 to 20, it is numbered 1 to 10 twice. So it is a D20, but it is also a D10. So it rolls just like a D20, but it generates D10 results. You can use these to play draw steel, or you could use them to troll your friends. Uh, you f***er. <laughs> I think of these as being very old school, because back in the 70s, which is actually before my time, they didn't make D20s numbered 1 to 20 because no game or product used such a thing. But you could get 20-sided D10s, the teachers used when teaching probability. Uh, they had to sort of invent the modern D10 because it, somewhat uniquely, is not a platonic solid like the other dice. I love this. I actually have a classic D20 numbered one to 10 twice given to me by Luke Gygax. It's got the Gary Khan logo on it and I cherish the hell out of this thing. You will sometimes see folks in the community call these Jordice because one of our new designers, Jordy, bought a bunch of these when he got started and he created basically like a, a wordless web comic where the dice were different characters and they went on adventures. Anyway, these dice are fun, so we're gonna make some. Each set of draw steel dice comes with two of these 20 sided D10s and since we're doing this anyway, an actual D3, meaning a six sided die numbered one to three twice. Right now, the D3 is mostly used by the Fury to generate rage on their turn, but there are other instances where you might need a D3 and there might be even more in the future. So that's it, by the way. A set of draw steel dice is just two 20 sided D10s and a six sided D3. Three dice, that is a box of draw steel dice. No spoilers. But we're partnering with the folks at ChessX, which brings me a great joy, as they are a legendary company in the industry. In fact, I think it was the folks at ChessX who convinced the Phoenix Clan finalist at the L5R Day of Thunder to switch clans to Scorpion. Anyway, the folks at ChessX are making these dice for us, which I love. They're just normal plastic dice, but they have so many cool colors and patterns, we decided to make five different sets of dice. Uh, if these are popular, we'll make some for the other classes later. So the Fury dice are red, obviously. The Shadow dice are these cool, dark purple color. The Elementalist dice glow in the dark. I think uh, we might have picked the uh, Fluoresce under ultraviolet. We'll find out. 
Both? Both. 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 Both is good. You know, no one's going to come to your house and knock down your door if you use the elementalist dice for your tactician or whatever. It's just fun. We wanted to have fun with this. Speaking of which, five different sets, tactician, fury, shadow, elementalist, and sensor. Each is a different color. So we did something a little extra here. We themed each box based on the iconic hero we developed for each of the core classes. So it's not just a box of tactician dice. It's a box of dice for Sir John of Tor, the iconic tactician. It's got his art on the box. It's got a unique quote from him. And there's a QR code in here you can scan and you get Sir John's unique title in Draw Steel. We made unique titles, each with their own dope power roll, just for the dice set which you can use in your game, uh, you know, if you qualify for them, which is not easy to do because these are some high-level characters. I don't want to spoil anything, but they are very cool, and it was super fun to work on. We are all ready to go on this project. Uh, it's, it's very small. We need around, I think, a thousand backers to make this happen. I think we can do that. But again, no one needs these dice to play Draw Steel. The game isn't even really out yet, so we'll see. Here are the details. One set of dice is 20 bucks. You get the three Draw Steel dice custom made for us by Chessex and delivered to you in quite nice packaging. This is just a mock-up, by the way. All these things you see here, these are all just mock-ups. The real ones are gonna look way cooler. There are five different hero boxes. Uh, they all have the same dice in them, just different colors. If you want all five hero boxes, you get a little discount. If you want all five sets of dice, but you don't wanna pay for the super cool packaging, you can back at just the dice and you'll get all five sets of dice in a little blister pack. There is also a box for directors, AKA the Good King Omen box. And these are sort of the star of the show. You get all five sets of dice. Uh, they don't come in the fancy boxes, but you do get a dope dice box where the lid is also a dice tray, but that's not all. You also get two special dice just for the director. These are two 20 sided D10s, but they are unique. They are 3D printed dice with the actual heraldic device of Good King Omond in the die. So that same symbol you see on the Dragon Knight's shield, it's inside the clear plastic die. And you get two of those in the Good King Omen box. So the Good King Omen box comes with these unique 3D printed dice and all five sets of dice. So it's basically a whole table's worth of dice in one go. But if for some reason, you want everything, meaning the director's box with five sets of dice inside and the special dice, and you want the five cool hero boxes, there's a pledge just for the works. If you miss the crowdfunder, you'll still be able to buy the Draw Steel dice in our store. I mean, I'm assuming we fund, but they just, they won't come in the cool iconic hero packaging. That's it, folks. This is our first like dice funder. It was a lot of fun to put this together. Thanks to Jeff, our general manager for heading up this initiative. It's super fun working with the folks at Cook and Becker on these, on these dice uh, boxes and getting the illustrations done and coming up with all the quotes and stuff. And the dice look super cool. And you know, you got, you already got plenty of dice, but uh, you know, I remember when I was in a, uh, it was Christmas at my last video game job at Turtle Rock Studios and we had a gift exchange and everybody gets a little card they fill out. So the person who gets you as their giftee or gifter or whatever knows what you like. And then one of the questions was, what can, what can you never have too much of? And what do you already have too much of? And I answered dice for both of them. So I know what it's like to be a dice goblin and just collect lots of crazy <laughs> dice. And these are just more and it's super fun for us. And we hope you folks like them. That's it. Thanks for watching folks. Peace out. <laughs>